You know my motto, if you can't pick it up, you can always drag it. And this is the rock we did in the video previously with the XH42D, which is our 8,400 pound machine. This is our YH14. This is one of our one ton, 2,200 pound machines. And uh, I really don't know what this weighs. This is a, a really big piece of concrete. I know one thing, this machine won't pick this up, but like I said, it'll sure drag it. So today we're going to do a little bit of digging with this machine. And uh, I know we've gone over it before, but we're going to go over it again. So with the YH14 here, you've got the Briggs um, EPA USA engine. So all parts are going to be available at every corner store. We have the upgraded pumps that you can change over to name brands like Parker. You already know this by now if you've watched any of our videos. We've got the drive motors down here on the tracks that can be upgraded. And uh, that's the cool thing about our machines, again, is parts. I say this every day. Um, if it's not a Kimron, then unfortunately, it's probably gonna have parts on it that you can't find. Ours is Kimron, so parts are available. We stock all parts. Like this machine right here, some upgrades on it. You've got the hard plum hydraulic lines. That's really nice. You've got the nice thumb that folds back here out of the way. You got the three-way valve. That way you can hook your auger up. You can hook your jackhammer up without ever unhooking any hoses. <clears throat> Moving on down, just the way our frames are built on our machines. It's a box style frame instead of setting on a salad bowl with a lot of those cheapo depot brands. Moving on back here, you've got the uh, updated console. Foot pedal controlled thumb keeps your hands on the sticks. So that's really nice and convenient. You got digital gauges. We have a nice plush seat here with a headrest, armrest, adjustability, lumbar support, all that. So uh, let's go ahead and get straight to work and uh, we'll dig a little trench here and see how she does. guys <clears throat> one thing you'll notice with our machines so here's idle right here you'll notice that our uh, our machines can do a lot at just above idle having that little bit bigger pump on it is going to give you the ability to just not be running full blast the machine's still fairly quiet if you watched other videos on youtube you'll notice that the machine is just blasting you don't need full throttle, so we're gonna ease it down a little bit right here and kind of feel for it, see how it feels. We'll put our blade down. And guys, there's, you can dig many different ways. You can put your blade behind you with these machines or in front of you. I'm gonna do it with in front of us. This particular machine has a side swing. So you can talk that boom all the way over, hit that switch, go back over to cab rotation. I'll show you right here. If there was a wall right here, well, we'd be digging right up against it, which is pretty cool. So as you can see, if there was a wall, boom, we'd be right up against it. The tracks would be out of the way. Get her straightened back out here. dig right out in front of me. <clears throat> I mean, look at that. This machine, it goes right in for the kill. Cuts the dirt just fine.
No problem. And keep in mind, we're only at uh, half throttle. I'm going to try something here just for the fun of it. This may not work. We're going to turn it on down as if we were doing some de detail work around some uh, buildings or something. So look at this, guys. Right now, we're down here at basically idle. You can hear it. Still take scoops right out. No problem. We're just idling. Another thing you'll notice about our machines, the Kimrons here, is they are rarely, really smooth. Can't get my words out today. They're a lot smoother than the, the knockoff machines out there. You're gonna see that we we put a little more work into our valve body down here. And basically you can, uh, you can operate the, the machine just a, a lot smoother. And it's not just jerking you around and about to flip the machine over. So we'll go on back up here. A lot of guys are like, I don't want a gas machine, I want a diesel. Well, we have those too. If you click on the uh, our channel button that says K&R Equipment, the logo, you'll find that we have many other videos with our diesel machines as well. And we have a website, microtraco.com. That's going to be our full lineup. And I say it in all videos, we get down to this Oklahoma clay, and then before you know it, you're down to the shell. And this little machine cuts right through it, no problem. problem at all. We're digging right through. We're already down probably almost two foot. I know one thing, it beats a shovel. Now we're going to just kind of move really fast and rough. Just to show that it cuts right through, no problem. Digging a uh, really deep water line right here, we'd be making some uh, progress pretty quick, as you can see. Look at that. Cuts right through it, no problem.
again guys I'm just moving really fast right now just to show you that it can it can dig pretty quick <clears throat> all right guys there you go as you can see our little one ton machines having that little bit bigger upgraded pump I know it's only a few millimeters I get a guy that ask me that what's so upgraded well the biggest upgrade is down the road if you ever need to change over to an american name pump like parker or something like that we're going to be able to take care of you on that so uh i know it's only a few millimeters difference but there you guys have it it'll uh it'll get it done this right here looks like every bit of about two foot deep if you were digging a water line and uh, even if it was only just 50 foot over to the house to say a, uh, an outbuilding or something, nice and easy right there. So where you need to be is microtraco.com. That's our website. All of our pricing is there. We don't have anything to hide. We show our prices. We have detailed pictures. We have more videos. We offer um, third party financing. They can help you out in getting your machine financed. We have um, a couple shipping brokers that you can call get a shipping quote they're going to work with you help you out with getting your machine to you that's all i've got for the day y'all have a good one thank you